A lot of cis women share this sentiment, and I do want to break it down. This may be uncomfortable to sit through and to listen to, and I think that's why it's important that we do this. Feeling like trans people are a threat to you in a space like a bathroom or a locker room is actually a version of internalized misogyny, which is not necessarily your fault because it's impossible to divorce our socialization from the prevalence of patriarchy, but it also does mean it's our responsibility to unlearn it for the safety of fellow women, especially trans women. In my experience as a gender educator, the majority of cis women who have experienced violence at the hands of men or just patriarchy patriarchy or living in today's world, see anything that codes to them as remotely masculine, male, etc., and fear it. Which in many ways is a survival tactic that makes sense. The difference is when we code trans people as the wrong gender, we're actually doing them way more a disservice than we are protecting ourselves because you're ostracizing and further alienating trans people. The false media narrative and trope around trans people is that we are predators that are tricking people into thinking that we're something that we're not, which is of course not true. Watch the documentary Disclosure on Netflix if you want more on that. So being uncomfortable with trans people in your space is something that you were taught and you can unlearn that. It's important to recognize that we can't tell someone's gender by their presentation, by their genitals, by the way that they look. All of that can be changed. All of that is arbitrary. None of that is central to your identity necessarily.